Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. I'm in a mystery location today, but it's not that much of a mystery because I'm going to tell you where I am right now. I'm with my favourite YouTubers and hopefully your favourite YouTubers as well, but if you haven't seen their channels, I'll put a link in the description to this video. I'm here with the almighty Colin Furs and the Hacksmith. Yes, all in this shed, the Furs shed, not an attic. <laughs> Do you, feel, right. do you feel weird being in a shed at ground level? It's a bit different, yeah. And, and, and the roof is not doing that. Yeah, it yeah. is a bit... No, it's not bumpy head watch my head on bits of <laughs> metal. All yeah. right, we're just going to hang out and have a good time, and thanks to Colin for hosting. Yeah, and I'm going to try and get him to start a Pulse Jet engine. All right, it sounds, like, fun. sounds like fun. That's the next question. Right, we're down in Colin's bunker with all of the good projects. Here's the freezer wave and the thermite launcher. So we're just getting the uh, gas bottle out the back of the amplifier as you do, because we're going to need this for the pulse chip. I don't know if that's empty or not. It might be a little bit empty. Right, we're in the van with the pulse jet in the back, and hopefully we've got enough gas. Yeah, a bit of an issue. I've uh, gone to buy some more gas for it, and no one's got any of the bottle sizes which this one takes. But we've got a little bit, so fingers crossed, we'll be able to start it. We'll see how it goes. Sounds like a plan. I've been up here, what I've been in before, I've been in this little truck. Sitting on your laptop? Uh, not quite sitting on it, but it was, <laughs> it was in between. Hopefully, uh, I think I'll go this side. Yeah, that's good because then. It's louder in front of it, yes. Yeah, so if yeah. you're behind it, you should be okay. So, now then the key is we've got to get the flame to come out here to start off with, not there. So, now it might, if it shoots back and goes bang, yeah. don't worry, it'll make me jump because I'm like a mega jumpy person, but it's, that's not something it shouldn't do, but it doesn't always do it. So. First go successful. That was awesome. Ah. A bit loud. It's loud. Let's let it uh, let it cool down a little bit. If you give it a tiny bit more, so you get a little bit of flame coming out. That's it. Whoa, a bit less. <laughs> right, that's about right. Now then. Now get this and gently. Sorry, grab it. Bring it towards that. As you start to bring it, that's it. As you start to bring it towards you, give it a little bit more gas. Right, then back, back that off. Oh, nearly.
course, yeah, they don't need them. Unless they're really small, then you do need them. The thing in my jig. So, you've got to get the fire coming out of this one here. All right. And then kind of bring the two together. really was first go as well, <laughs> thanks go. to Colin. In James's defence, yours was already a little bit warmer. Oh, uh, right. But you know, but you did, you did good, you did good. So the pallet's on fire, but... It's the sort of thing we should do on a cold day, really. It's, it's, it's burned itself out, it's fine. Today, it's it? not red hot anymore, so there's no fire under a gas cylinder. Oh, there is a little flame. There's a little one. It's not under the gas cylinder, so, or the fuel tank. So we get a bit more snow in Canada than you guys. Oh, 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 that's oh. not good. That's right. Oh, that might that might catch fire in a minute. What's that diesel? It's it's a bit of old engine oil. Ah, right. You know. Well, the flame's gone now, so. Yeah. The the pipe might be hot enough to. It's not touching it. Fear not. It's a bit mucky now. It's fine. You've got the safety that. tie. Yeah, you see, we're. It's still not. Have no is that, fear. That one's still in one piece. <laughs> I'll step away from it. <laughs> Brilliant. Um. Right, we're at Colin's Wall of Death. If you look back in his channel, there's a video of a motorbike riding round and round on the inside. How old is this? And Jeez, this is what's really left old. of it. Yeah. This, this, this was kind of where it all began. Um, Historic site. Yeah. It's not too bad, but every now and again, you'll get one. The closer to the top you go, the more rotten it gets. I might climb and uh, put the camera on the... Yeah, you're this right. It's quite helpful that it's got these... It's, it's such a massive pile of shelves, really, isn't it? Yeah. So is there still, I guess there's still panels on the inside, so... Yeah, we actually, um, I tried to take the drift strike round it <laughs> um, not so long ago, but uh, that was more successful than I thought it actually was on the day. When I got back and actually looked at the footage, yeah, I'd, I'd done better than I thought I had, but because the drift strike has no suspension, it was just too, too much. Like just information overload of stuff bouncing all over the place. Yeah, right. right. This was like the first proper project which was done for YouTube, really. You know, from the building process as well as the riding. It was the first video which ever got put on YouTube's front page. Not ever, but for me. Yeah. Because um, back at YouTube, you something, I don't know if you can remember, everyone used to see so, the same. And if you want to hear the rest of that conversation, you'll have to go over to the Hacksmith's channel to watch it because they had to do it again because his memory card ran out. But thanks again to Colin for hosting the day, showing us his bunker and how to start a pulse jet first time. And I'll put links to both Colin's channel and the Hacksmith's channel in the descriptions of this video. All right, that's all for now.